Hi everyone, we're going to do a quick update on our time in Hong Kong and how we found it there. Yeah, it was very good, we loved it, we really did love it. We weren't even affected by the riots, which was good. Obviously the riots have been quite bad and they're still happening now. Luckily we weren't really affected, like Jordan said, it was just the other time that a few stations were closed, but we were just going to the next station if we needed to be in that area. We only saw, I think it was just a little... Group of like young kids or Yeah, it was about 30 running people around. running shouting, but at the time we didn't know like if they were rioting because there wasn't many of them but then like 10 minutes after they joined obviously the other rioters which is up to them because they're fighting for what they believe is right so enough about the riots it wasn't too bad and we we were really happy like we did, didn't seem worse in england exactly so. We want to just tap in a little bit to hong kong if you are traveling southeast asia mm -hmm. This needs to be a place on your list 100%. Yeah, it's not really like one of the top typical places to go, but it's totally like, we well, it's a last minute decision for us as well, but I'm so glad that we did it. Yeah, we just want to say like, thank you to Matt and Deb who let us stay at their apartment. If it wasn't then we wouldn't be able to go on a budget because no. it is quite pricey, but you can do it on a budget, you'll just be staying further out in the city. Yeah and in like a little hostel which obviously we don't mind either but they let us stay. Now. yeah but they let us stay with them which was really nice and, and it felt really homely and they were really welcoming so that was like the perfect start to our trip yeah they also gave us tips on where to go and what to do so we checked out a few things that they had said that you can see in our previous vlogs we also found like a few off the beaten track kind of things like the basketball court as you'd have seen, the monster buildings and even Mr Wong's and these are things, places that you really really need to check out and are not in the travel book. Make sure they're on your list so the multi-storey car park with the basketball on top is the rainbow building, that was insane wasn't it? Yeah that was really so good, peaceful. I'd go back there. Yeah same, so peaceful, just it was really just us and some like three other people. Yeah. So it was really amazing. It was a really cool place, really good vibe. And then the Monster House. Yeah, that was really good. Obviously that's what was in the Transformers film. I thought it'd be a lot more dingy, dingy than what it was, but it wasn't at all. It was all right. Apparently though, the Monster House is basically people that can't afford to live. So it's like a council house, as we would call it back at home. But they live in like a little box, like, like a cage. A, cage. <coughs> a bit like a hostel capsule, but like smaller and. It's literally just like a, a bed cage. in a cage, yeah. literally a cage, and we could actually see them. So that was a bit sad, but it was good to go and see that, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the thing with Hong Kong people, you're super rich or super poor, there's not really in between. So they were just basically stuck in there. And then Mr Wong's, that was such a good way to try out loads of different food. Yeah, like she would have given us more beer, we were like, oh, I can't have any more. But she, like, literally, it's all you can eat and drink for that price, it's ridiculous. She'll come over as well, just like when you're finishing your meal, and she'll be like, do you want some more? Mm -hmm. I'll eat more. And we were like, okay, well, we were quite full, but it was like, okay, yeah. yeah. And then she got us more and was like, we can't eat anymore. Yeah. But that was like, we wasn't ever, we didn't even know about that place until no, the guys no. told us. So, no. Mr. Wong was also known as Summit Cock and Ball Dungeon. <laughs> Don't know why, when you type it in on Google Maps, that's what comes up, and that does take you to the place. So, you'd be thinking, oh my god. And it's about a second shop in from the corner before the fish market. Yeah. Make sure you go there, it's, you definitely need to check that out. It was a really good experience, wasn't it? And the food was delicious, so we highly recommend that. And what else did we do? The Mambo Temple, I was quite surprised at that. Yeah, yeah, I bet that would have been even better if it wasn't under construction, but even a little bit. It was different temple to what they normally have, because I think one side of the temple's worshipping man and one side is Mo. I don't know the internet, but I know that they're two different gods, so that was quite cool. <laughs> and all the street art as well on the way to the Mambo mm. Temple, that was really, really cool, and they're so well done as well, they're amazing. Yeah, yeah, they're really good. The es large escalator, we did that also. Unfortunately, half of it was shut. <laughs> yeah, I think it was getting renovated or what have you, but so still we got in to it. Top of to walk down. <laughs> yeah, which was fantastic. Yeah, it's steep on the island. We also did. Oh my god, the highlight of the trip, Victoria Peak. Yeah, that was good. Oh my god. All 360 views, and luckily as well, the day that we were gonna go up. And, well, I was gonna go up on a Saturday, but then went up on a Friday. 
Friday, cracking weather, you can see all the way through, whereas this Saturday actually, it's still good weather, but it was really hazy from the pollution, so we wouldn't have seen a lot, so just swirling up on a Friday. We also are gonna give you a little tip. If you do go to Victoria Peak, you get the tram up, but then you can pay like five pound extra to go up to the sky platform. Mm. And we highly recommend that. Not a lot of people will pay the difference, but we did, and there wasn't a lot of people up there, and it was like the most amazing experience ever. As you'll see from the vlog, like the, the views were just incredible. We and, literally couldn't believe it. And you get the ride back down the tram which is backwards which is off the tram was really good yeah we highly recommend going and doing that it was so amazing our overall thoughts on hong kong let's score it quickly out of ten. Mm. Three, two, one, ten. Nine and a half. there's always place for improvement actually yeah i might change mine mine might be nine and a half just because i feel like we haven't seen everything that and it is quite expensive yeah, but I love it. Yeah, yeah, it's it's probably been my favourite place so far mm. from all the places we've been. I think, honestly, it was just so incredible. And people keep saying, oh, what was your favourite part? But there wasn't just one thing that I could say, yeah, that was it. It was just, no. I just loved, I just loved it, everything. Literally every single part about it I loved. And you did as well, didn't you? Yeah, it was good. So we're really happy that we went there. And if you are travelling Southeast Asia, add Hong Kong to your list. You will not be disappointed. Tomorrow's video, you'll find out our next destination, which we're already in. We're not going to tell you that now because we have already obviously filmed the reveal. So you will find out on tomorrow's vlog. Don't forget to tune in at 6pm. Hit that subscribe button, <laughs> turn on the bell and give us a thumbs up. Make sure you're hitting the subscribe button to find out where we are going. We'll see you guys tomorrow.